Welcome back to some Vampire Survivors. Today we're going to try and break Keitha here, but we're going to do it a little differently than we normally do. This time we are going to be allowed to take one other weapon, because there's one weapon that I believe will become absolutely insane with Keitha if we can ever find it. Where are you? Wow! Okay, we're still going to be taking the Clover, and then we're going to just run to the store real quick and just... Let me just buy a bunch more rerolls, apparently. And while we're here, let's just pick a card, any card. Oh, the Silent Old Sanctuary. Wonder why I would be taking that. Okay. Will I be able to find the... Uh, because the, this weapon will make Keitha absolutely broken. Because, spoiler alert, it relies on luck. If you can remember what one that is, congratulations. There we go, the 108 Bachi. It does damage depending on the difference between luck and curse. Hey, what's that? We start with plus 10% curse and plus 82% luck, and that number is going to increase one every level up. That's gonna get pretty insane pretty quickly, and because of the fact that every level up we have Boogaloo of Illusion, the size of these things is gonna become massive. So, if I could, I would have just not even had the bow. I don't think the bow is necessary for this character. They just need the 108 Bachi. So yeah, that's going to be the main idea. I mean, I'm going to evolve the the bow because of the fact uh, it requires the luck and the bracer. And I know that Bachi don't rely on speed, so that's why I'm not going to be taking... Or duration, which is why I'm not going to be taking the other two things that increase those. However, I probably will take Wicked Season later on. Just to show, uh, you know, just how crazy things can get. Alright, we now have the Clover to its max level. Uh, we've got a luck of plus 141% right now. So, these Bachi are going to just be hitting everything for so much damage. And just decimating them. As we continuously make the range that they're hitting even bigger. Oh, also while giving ourselves more protection. Because of the fact they just spin around us. I've also included taking the crown, so we can level up more. The attract orb, so we can level up more. The spinach, so that we can do more damage, yes. Uh, and the clan de Labrador, so that, you know, we can make uh, the range even bigger. I'm trying to figure out what the last one should be, because of the fact speed and duration and amount all don't affect the 108 Bachi. I'm thinking of probably the hollow heart or the wings, in all honesty, so I'll take it now. Alright, I've decided I'm actually going to take the Attract Orb. I figured cooldown is actually a good one because I was thinking about it. And if it doesn't distinctly mention that cooldown does not not affect it, then cooldown probably does affect it and probably makes the ball spin even faster, giving them more protection for us. And that's all that we need. Also, I was looking this up beforehand because of the fact I was curious. But, apparently the way the 108 Bachi work is, for every 1% difference between Curse and Luck, you get, essentially... A 1% damage modifier. We're capping out at 11 times. Uh, your damage being multiplied by 11 times when you have a 1,000% difference. Obviously, I don't think we're going to hit a 1,000%, but an 11 times modifier for damage is gigantic. Like, oh my gosh. Because these things are doing a lot of damage when we only have, what, a... Uh, currently, I think we're at a... Ton like an additional, you know, multiplier. Uh, so it's basically doubling the attack, I believe, right now. Which, pretty good. Oh, okay, and that giant kill was great for us. We still want to get the uh, empty tomb so we can reduce cooldown. All right, finally we get the empty tomb. That took forever. Everything else has already gotten all the way up to their max level. But that means we can also now take the Academy Badge. Which will provide extra amount and revival, yeah, yeah, in exchange for growth. Not great. But we'll be able to just constantly be improving the Empty Tomb. And around the 11 minute mark, we're going to get another Arcana. Which, if I can, I believe I have enough rerolls. I'll be able to make sure I take Wicked Season. Which will give us a lot more growth. Meaning we can still keep leveling up at a great uh, rate. Also, in case you can't see, the bow's gotten pretty good. We're just constantly firing off now. 
And that's not even our primary attack. Although, it can still evolve. Like, look at how quickly are we are firing this thing. Okay. Now we do start have to leveling up the academy badge. Yeah, yeah. Nobody's favorite because we lower growth, but we're getting other benefits. Honestly, I don't know ex entirely how many revives you get if you have that, the Tiramisu, and Awake. You could get a lot of revives. Imagine that on, like, I forget what his name is. Maybe Crochi, who can get m m a lot of revives as they play as well. Dang. You could get lots of XP. Yep, as another revive. Yeah, yeah. I just have to wait till the 11 minute mark, get the next Arcana, and boom. Alright, there's the randomazo. Not here. Okay, but we got enough rerolls, I believe. Because there we go, Wicked Season. So now, things are gonna get harder. But every time we level up, we will be increasing basically our uh, growth, luck, curse, and uh, gold. Oh, also, of course, random always. However, there will also be periods where our luck becomes double, making our our stat basically insanely high. Oh, so we're just going to take the bracer so we can evolve the arrows while we're up here. Maybe even grab the silver ring and uh, metallic go left, make things even bigger. But yes, during curse time, that's going to be the most dangerous time because at that point, curse is doubled. However, curse being doubled doesn't hurt us that much. Until we get to super high level, which is why it's kind of nice that we aren't getting that much growth because of the Academy Badge. This is actually a build that works out weirdly well. And when we're in the double luck stage, doubling our luck is insane. We become so strong. Ah, yes. And here's the chest that's going to evolve the arrows. At this point, we are very, very strong. And yeah, there's just also going to be some chaos happening every now and then on screen. Yeah, because this character needs this. Uh, let's just... Oh, okay. I always forget about the uh, Guardian of the Ring, don't I? We're just going to take this O anyways. Hope you don't mind. Oh, also, uh, this is going to be happening both basically the rest of the run. Seeing as the fact I have cooldown reduced a lot. Yeah, the Bachi was just to kind of get us to this point. <laughs> but yeah, at this point, um, we just kind of are getting lots of XP. And we're just going to see how broken this character is. Can truly become and I am looking forward to it because oh my gosh we can also just walk through all these guys because we have the 108 bocce surrounding us and protecting us like holy cow we do not fear much it's the only time we do have anything to fear is during this curse time right here which don't know about you but um doesn't look like they're doing that well even during this point I'm just saying all right, we're against Metallico Left Man. Let's just see how long he can stay alive for. Because we are at level 94, meaning he should have a lot of starting health. Because he ha his health is uh, a multiplier of, I believe, the of our level, essentially. However, we are also in curse time, meaning each of these balls that's hitting him, or not curse time, luck time, which meant each of those balls that was hitting him was dealing a lot of damage. You know what? I actually want to see this. We're turning on damage numbers again. Oh, just casually doing thousands of damage with 108 Bachi during curse time even. Oh my gosh. He, I mean, he's taking it like a champ, if I'm being honest. Let's see how high this number can get, though, when we're in luck time. I mean, will he make it that long? Oh, we're in luck time. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wow, our damage actually isn't that great big. I'm... It's just plentiful and uh, just constantly hit kidding him. Alright, that guy's taken care of now. So, we have a lot of these wizards to deal with, but it doesn't look like they're doing much of anything, if I'm being honest. Like, they're trying, I guess. But, like, the 108 bots here are just cleaning up all their projectiles. And, now, and all the arrows raining in kind of also doing a good job of just cleaning out them. Oh, also, because of the fact we get an additional luck every level, actually we get two additional luck every level now because of the Wicked Season as well. 
Huh. Didn't think about that. Our odds of finding floor chicken out of the things super high. Whoa, what what did I do over here by accident? Uh, hello? What happened? Alright, I, I don't know how that happened. I just got stuck over there for a little bit. But, all is good. We went, came back. Honestly, you could probably just hide over there if you needed to. Like, nothing was coming for me. Don't know if that's a glitch or... I know that's how you normally get the coffin because you have to go through the window. I remember that. But weird that they allow you to do it and then nothing came out of it. I don't know. I'm still bitter about the fact that uh, the first time I went there, um, I saw a mana stop working. And so I got stuck doing a run without my weapon I was working on the entire run. Uh, good times, good times. Alright, we're, we're heading the 21 minute mark around now. Ooh, what do I want? Doubles overall crit damage. Oh, and for the raining arrows? Ooh, that's tempting, actually. You know what? Yeah, we're just gonna take... Uh, no, actually, we're gonna do the smart thing. We're gonna do the smart thing. We'll take a wake. We have so many revives at this point, but I am worried about the end because most of what's, you know, good about this build is the fact that everyone's just getting knocked away like crazy. Unfortunately, resetting their health when they get knocked off screen. But, uh, and near the end, those big giant red golems, they are not going to be getting knocked away. So, if we're not killing them, we're going to be dying a lot. But, we'll also be getting stronger with every death, and we have lots of deaths we can bank on now. Thanks to the um, Academy Badge. But yeah, I'm thinking I'm getting the win on this one. I'm hopeful, at least. Because uh, at this point, our luck is 292, our curse is 53. That's a giant difference, especially during curse time, where it doubles. Or not curse time, luck time. But even during curse time, the difference is good enough that for luck. Oh, wow. Okay. So we did just lose a life. I... Okay, I might have been overestimating this build just a tiny bit. But that's only during curse time. We'll refine the other time. Hopefully... I mean, during curse... Uh, luck time, we should be able to just decimate everyone that's in our way. Thankfully, that's when Crab Man decided to show up. Oh my gosh, we're just getting so much XP as well. And as we just keep... If we just keep making sure we're near light fixtures, we'll be able to just constantly get our health back as well. Okay, but now we've hit the 25 minute mark. And oh my gosh, this crab man is pretty big. But we're still doing pretty well, I feel like. I mean, we don't have the water reaper after us. The giant red golems are about to spawn in. But I think we're doing okay. But yes, I am enjoying trying to see what other kind of builds I can do. Okay, there's water reaper. Uh, for the other new characters. I'm trying to think of some, like, fun builds to do with Maruto. Um, besides just doing, like, a clone build. But let me know if you have any ideas. Also, let me know if you have any challenges down in the comments below. I will take on any and all comments left down there. I've got a couple on my backlog right now. There's all those red golems. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, they definitely came out in full force. Okay, okay, oh, okay. Mm, there we go. We just had to survive the curse time. Now we just gotta make sure we can find our way up to some more floor chicken. Thank you, luck time. Oh, and thank you, freeze. Honestly, that was clutch. But yes. Also, while you're down in the comments below, maybe see if you're subscribed and it helps out the channel a lot. Oh, and also, answer today's question of the day. Uh... I know Advanced War is about to come out, and so that made me think, like, I think my favorite genre of games are tactic themes. Also, holy cow, during Curse Time, they become hard to stop. But, what, my, the question of the day is just, what's your favorite genre of video games? Tactic games are, are probably mine, but I'd love to hear what you guys say. Also, you know, maybe give the video a like, it helps out. Okay, we have three minutes left to survive. We've died, I, what, two, three times? So that would have been all the awake ones. 
no idea how many revives we get from uh, the stupid Academy badge. But I know why it's at least two. So we should. Oh, and this is a candy box. You know what? It was the savior last time, it's the savior now. Oh my gosh, maybe it really is just the savior all the time. Honestly, Laurel, you're so good. Why do I ever discount you? I don't think I actually do discount you. I just feel like it's cheap taking you sometimes. Okay, we can survive. We can survive. A lot is happening on the screen, but we're ca we can survive. We can live this last two minutes. Okay, thank you, luck time. See, luck time, we can just decimate everything because the difference is so gigantic. We're, oh my god, that is a gigantic difference, actually. So we're at about 500 and 500% uh, difference during luck time. Making the one away Pachi probably super strong. Oh my gosh. Unfortunately, what follows is going to be curse time in just a little bit, which. Unfortunately, while the 108 Bachi are still strong, these guys become fast. Thankfully, we got the Laurel to keep us alive. And thankfully, we have all the luck so that we can, you know, keep finding floor chicken. Oh my gosh. Okay, luck time. Yes. See, luck time, we just become so strong. It's so good. Like, we could just walk through everyone. Maybe because of the Laurel also, but hey, stop it. <laughs> I do believe that this means this challenge will get beat in the next 40 seconds. And thankfully, since these guys take knockback, the 108 bots here are just able to repel them away. So we don't have to worry too much. Oh, also, you know, the giant raining arrows from the sky also helps with us. Alright, we got 15 more seconds to go. Curse time happens. We just can walk through everyone. Oh, freezing. And that's a guaranteed win right there. There is absolutely nothing that can ha prevent us from winning now. However, we are going to kill the Reaper, obviously. But, thank you guys so much for watching. Okay, I somehow got a chest during that end. Uh, I'm just gonna do this because I think it's funny. But let's just take Lumeria and just pound on him. All right. All right, so again, thank you everyone so much for watching this far into the video. And remember to have a great day.